can share with others. Raise your hand. For all of them. Today I'm going to tell you what makes me happy. The benefits of my hobby. My hobby is magical. <laughs> oh wait. What's this? What colors do you see here? Are you sure? What about now? <laughs> what colors do you see now? Are you so sure? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> magic. What's magic? Webster's Dictionary defines magic as the power of apparent, apparently influencing the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. I like magic because I get to see people's faces light up, and I know something that the audience doesn't know. <laughs> the type of magic I like is mentalism. What is mentalism? Mentalism is an art that appears to demonstrate highly developed mental performers that may include hypnotism, telepathy, mind control, memory peak, and other movements. It is also a magic art like card magic, coin magic, silk magic, close-up magic, escapology, and more. I have an empty pan here. Do you see that? Do you really think it's empty? Do you think I can make a cake? Well, I can. <laughs> as a public speaker. Some examples are, for hand movement, let's say you have a coin in the back of your hand and you're trying to get it in the palm of your hand. Let's say you, you would have to be very slick and smooth to get that coin just in the right place to get it in the palm of your hand so nobody notices. Eye coordination. Okay, so if the magician looks over here, Usually the audience will look over here and he could be doing or the magician could be doing something over here to distract you. Patience? Okay, so I'm really hyper. But <laughs> so when I do magic, it gives me to calm down and when I do magic I need to be calm so I can focus on what I'm doing. So I don't want to do it too early or too slow. Confidence as a public speaker, because you don't want to get out on the stage and just don't know what you're going to say, cry, and run off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be able to go on the stage, say what you want to say, and talk to the audience like they're your best friend. As a magic performer, I go to lots of events like TALM. TALM stands for Texas Association of Magicians. TAOM is a two-day camp. The first day I was excited, thinking, yay, it's my first day. The next day I was thinking, boo, it's my last day. <laughs> now, well, at this event, I got to perform at Casa Manana, which was really cool. I'm also in a club called Cook's Children's Young Magicians. It's 14 years and under. Magic can be a career, like... Harry Houdini, David Copperfield, Pops, also known as Shell Higgins. I like magic because I get to see people's faces light up because you know you just made that happen. So it makes you feel good inside and it makes the audience feel good inside. And then I know something that the audience doesn't know. So I have my own little secret. When I do magic, it's my daddy in me time. So I get to see my dad. We do a lot of stuff together. But when at weekdays, my dad picks me up from school. Then we go home. I do my homework. And by the time I'm done with my homework, he's leaving for work. So when we practice magic, it's our time.
I'm also a third generation magician. So I was on a camping trip and my grandpa showed me a magic trick and he told me that he taught my dad how to do magic and then so my grandpa taught my dad how to do magic and my dad taught me how to do magic and I might teach my kids someday how to do magic. The worst thing about magic is messing up, but you have to learn from your mistakes. So it's just a better lesson for next time. So you know what to do and what not to do. Magic can also be a superpower by making you smile as well. So it doesn't just work in hospitals, it can work on the street, um, on a stage, wherever you are perform performing. It just, there's something maybe in that magic that makes you click inside that makes you feel happy. I have one more trick to show you. So right here, I have an empty bag. And I have six cards and a brown string. I have the five of hearts, the two of spades, the six of clovers, the king of diamonds, the eight of hearts, and the ace of diamonds, and my brown string. I'm gonna put all of these items in the bag, do the little shaking, abracadabra, and then I'm gonna pull everything I put in out. Mm -hmm. See, I have the eight of hearts, the six of clovers, the king of diamonds, the two of spades, the ace of diamonds, and the five of hearts. I just shared with you my magic, what makes me happy, my daddy in me time. Now, let's find your magic. So now close your eyes. Think about what makes you smile. Think of that special someone or family and look for what makes you and that someone happy. That's your magic. Share your magic. Find the magic in you and share it. Don't wait. Do it today.